Okay, let me take a screenshot. Mm-hmm. Looks fine. Mm, let me take that body. Oh yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Oh yeah, that thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Works. Okay, so welcome guys and back to Blessing League. Today we are going to talk about Union Power. So you press escape, you can come to the Union, and as you know, there are three unions in this game. Artisans Sentinels and the Court of Ravens. I have personally joined Artisans because of the buffs it gives. For now, it gives this buff. As you can see, 30% XP HP will be restored once you use this buff. Uh, you can see those buffs in the right uh, bottom corner of my screen on the 5 menu. If I press 5, I will turn into a random object and I will disguise instantly healing 30% of my HP. Now, okay, first, now we know there are three types of unions in the game. Now, let's see how do you even get to that point. So first, the first union you will see the quest for is the artisans. So the artisan symbol will look like this, uh, which will be shown over here in Gnoll Wasteland in this place, Ardell Traders Outpost. So you will be doing main quests and you will after Karzako, Navara, you will reach Kanol Wasteland and once you reach this, the quest for the artisans will start. Now the second quest is going to be the uh, uh, Court of Ravens, uh, which will start around over here, uh, to still have refuge camp. Once you finish uh, Ganol Wastelands, you will be uh, taken to this place. Uh, you want to all the way over here and then you will go here, cross this bridge through main quest and then you will reach Ruins of Sorrow here this camp. This is where uh, the quest for the uh, Court of Ravens will start. The third quest, the Sentinels, the quest for which will start over here, Rift Survey Camp. Once you have gone through the main quest of Tristiza, you will reach this city, you will complete this and you will come right over here for some quests over here. So once you pass over here, this is where you will, uh, Artisan's quest will start. Now you know where each and every quest will start. But now what does those quests do? Those quests are like simple any quest defeat some bosses defeat some mobs gather something you go somewhere talk to somebody once you have done all of those quests for that particular union it will send you towards the city now the city have three main headquarters every union have its own headquarters for my union uh, artisans this is where the, my headquarter is located which looks like this the awesome building the uh, headquarter of uh, the uh, sentinels is here uh, now i will do this this plaza over here this is the headquarter for the sentinels and this coat of ravens locates over here let me go to okay uh, i will tell you about over there just to show uh, the headquarter for the coat of raven kind of looks cheap i would say i mean it's kind of in the remote part of the uh, city yeah, like in slums but this is kind of the internal part of the coat of ravens for others it's a bit different but once you have done the, all of those quests you will be sent towards your headquarter or the headquarter of that particular uh, quest line uh, then you will talk to some people you will do some quests inside here maybe one or two quests outside and then finally the last quest will send you towards the center of the city for the final quest which you will find over here uh, i'm going to show you uh, it's a person standing in the middle of that place now uh, the reason why this whole world is uh, red looking red is because there's a uh crusade going on nearby who's which is not being finished i have been waiting for an hour for somebody to finish that quest but nobody's doing it so i just thought okay let's just make this video uh, nobody's going to do that mission for some reason somebody started it and nobody is doing it now this union clear or however you call it cry 
uh, it will ask you which union you want to join first it will tell you what does union do and everything blah 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 all of those npcs shit and then you will be able to choose one of your union of your choice now i have not found any way to change your union uh there is actually there is a whistle or something that you can actually get from an np certain npc which i will include in some of the next video once i find it again but uh once you uh so once you have joined your union it will i guess take it takes some star seeds so make sure you kind of like uh choose which one do you actually need so now uh the union you will have to choose will depend on some of the things now first thing you have to see is which main buff do you need do you need the uh instant healing 30 percent heal or do you need the coat of raven buff which is like pvp for pvp uh which will briefly for briefly you can get escape the uh death in pvp nobody will be able to uh do anything to you uh, for a brief time you cannot die from pvp attacks you can heal yourself by killing other players while under the effect of the skill so or you will need if you want this sentinel buff which is you can make an area around you and it will like heal any animal uh any of your ally or random player that is dead near you and you cannot be attacked during that period so it's a perfect revival but make sure those guys that you have uh, here they get away because they only will have one person health now the other thing you will have to see is the traits normally uh, the all of these things will go maximum of level one unless you join some union which you can bring to other levels now levels affects these traits every union has different traits and which you can actually apply which are passive skills which last over a week these passive skills requires certain currency which i'm going to talk about uh, after this now the sentinels as you can see have all of these buffs these artisans have these buffs and god of ravens have these buffs from the get go level 1 you can choose any of these buffs no matter which uh, union have you joined but if you need these buffs then you're going to need uh, then you can only unlock them if your uh, union level is above level 1 now this is where it comes like you can only level get level 2 for the union you have only joined otherwise you won't be get able to get any of the levels so for me i can get this the, all of these six skills once i have made my uh, union certain level for example level four i will be able to get this one but if i want to get any of this i can get this because i can't level up coat of ravens or sentinels but i can get these four and these four if once i have the certain currency now all three unions have different currencies if you want to buy any of these passive buffs which last over a week i will say again so let's talk about those currencies first uh there is a union billboard here yeah yeah okay so there are certain quests that you can do actually the quest you will be doing in the first place to unlock a new union will actually give you the union currency itself after you have joined the union or done all of those quests how you gather those points is through this billboard here you can see there are certain different quests so as you can see this quest will give me a hundred currency this quest will give me 20 and stuff for different union and also this quest will give you exp for that specific union for example this one is for sentinel it will give me 100 xp and 20 coins for that and this one is for coat of ravens and this is giving give me a huge pile which is 2500 which is a lot and also it will give you some gold and some xp so my uh my best guess would be just come here i can grab some of these every day and just start finishing it because the traits you actually need are really good so this is how you're going to actually get those uh currency so now let's talk about some of the best traits which help you determine which code do you want to do so the sentinels are the passive uh 
support union like most of the traits and buffs are for the support these works special this works great with specially with crusader uh, passive crusader build or beast or the mage it, it works best with them and the coat of ravens is heavily focused on pvp and attack this will work great with the ranger or priest attack build crusader attack build mage attack build or even with any other build if it's based on attack the artisan society uh, now this artisans it works with everything as long as you are uh, determined to put a lot of time into the game gather a lot of shit and do that passive grind this is all the artisans are all about grind the first skill which i love is it gives you extra 10 percent xp when you do the crafting if you don't know how the crafting works go watch my video it will show you how the everything about the crafting is now in that video i told you the so you have to level up your crafting uh, uh station crafting station in order to uh, craft better gear and this will this skill will give you extra 10 percent xp whenever you are crafting anything so this is a huge bonus the second skill is is useless nobody uses that it gives you a 20 percent extra hp when you're gathering something nobody uses that unless maybe some one in out of 100 guys actually using this which is not worth it so the third skill is huge when you're getting it allows you to have a 5% chance to bring any to obtain any uh, item extra item and then 1% chance to obtain plus 2 items however it will cost a bit more than the first one the fourth skill is okay if you're doing a lot of gathering and you need to get more xp then it is a good one other than this uh, you can this skill are good uh, when you're doing actually doing some crafting because it gives you this especially this one when you're crafting at the alchemic station it will give you more consumables uh this one will give you more consumable if of not your okay, way this one will give you i uh, actually it's huge because it will give you a uh, 10 percent chance to uh not consume any uh of your materials raw materials to make a consumable item is great then you can just get a free item this is 5.0 xp and this one is actually really good because this one will allow you to gather mine or log when you're mounted so you can just zoom through everything but this one actually costs you a lot so you have to be ready to really grind that week because that is expensive so you have to make full of it so uh for the uh, sentinels you can see it has some great skills 300 extra defenses which any of class you can get even if you are just like me i, I am artisan but still i can get first four of these uh, bo from both of them so this one is a great skill i always apply it uh the second one is good if you're actually using elixirs and pancreas uh the third one is good if you're doing a lot of mob farming then this one is good it increases aggro uh, grants free recovery so this one is good if you're doing a lot of dungeons it will give you a uh, free recovery per uh, but it only works once per day and it resets at 4 am and it's costly uh, so just like that there's uh, some of these skills as you can see you can read them uh, some one some great are uh, these uh, you can get revived quicker or you can revive uh, your uh, player uh, friends quicker or this one grants a 20 percent to not consume a healing potion when used so you can use the potion for not even consuming anything but it it's expensive so yeah my best guess is this one is good and then you can apply this one and then any of the other from this place and then the court of ravens uh this one is actually huge it gives you extra crit, crit rate that is a huge buff then this one gives you extra healing from the thing and there's need notoriety if you're in the open world and you're doing a lot of pvp you want to get that high level up then you can use this and then this gives you pvp extra defense for arenas and stuff and there are some other buffs that i actually didn't look into but you can actually see it extra but attack power extra damage and stuff uh this you get you get the chest you get the chest okay so i guess yeah uh 
And one more thing, uh, I have two actually two things I haven't shown you. The once once per day you get if you go to your uh, certain <coughs> union headquarter f around uh, this place for example for uh, sentinels it's this place for artists and there's something else and then quarter ravens you saw a uh, raven made in the center you get a boon special it's a special buff uh, i will show you over here okay as you can see this artisan wit it's granting me three percent extra reputation and it will last for three hours and every day this uh, you get some rand random buffs so make sure you come here before you start grinding or anything and then you get some extra buffs now uh if i use my skill over here there's a secret extra buff that you can you get the artisan's blessing uh which will give you extra gathering speed and gathering ex extra gathering hp now yesterday i used this and i got uh, extra 30 percent extra gathering speed so i guess it changes every time you use it okay the last thing you have to know about is the union merchant so as uh, you can see there are some some great things over this merchant temporary camp summons a temporary soul buyer for sharing food this is for sentinel you can buy it over here then you have some of this blue dye and then some other props it's just some simple prop that you can actually use uh, dog whistles portable dummy it's just some pve or pvp uh passive fun stuff that you can actually use buy, just buy them and you will be able to use now every other shop every headquarter has different shops uh which you can actually use to buy different stuff this as you can see union merchant uh artisan will have different stuff and the court of ravens will have different stuff now other than these three headquarters there are special camps throughout the map that you can actually find uh for these uh where you can find these unions for example as you can see this is union merchant here and then there's a camp over here i think this one is for court of ravens and then uh, i saw a camp over up in the mountains uh so basically yeah there's a lot of camps everywhere it's they are spread everywhere and you can go there once you uh then all of the main quests once you go throughout the world you will see all of those camps but i haven't been using them a lot and i only do the these unit board quests when i actually need to apply some trades again those trades last for a week so you don't have to worry about doing those quests every day you can just do them once a week and then grab enough xp and then you can get all of these blessings you can also you can put three blessings at the same time from any of this so make sure you have best blessings uh, and stuff and then you can do whatever you want so this is a major aspect of the game so make sure you using a union power at full so you can do everything else uh, really great especially the gathering our design is actually great so make sure you join it or oh, design tunes so uh this is going to be it for today and for tomorrow i will actually what should i do for tomorrow what i haven't talked about fishing yeah fishing I'm sure most of you are wondering how the fishing works so tomorrow I will cover up fishing everything you need to do for fishing and how you can win all of this and then what is fishing competition what do you get for fishing and what is the reason of the fishing one thing I can tell you is if you haven't heard there are after mythic and STM mythic items there lies the ancient weapons in my server it's just a myth at this moment nobody is for that level where they have uh ancient weapons i'm guessing those once you do a lot of these quests some side quest, at some point you reach uh uh blacksmith that actually gives you quest to do something and then you can craft those ancient weapons for every class and then those ancient weapons requires 
some resources and those resources you can only get through competition these fishing competition these fishing crates and when you do normal fishing throughout the world so make sure you like subscribe and share and tomorrow i will cover up everything you have to know about fishing so it's gonna be it for today have fun and i see you tomorrow